Okay, so last time on Pokemon Emerald, we beat Watson's team of three Raikos, and we beat the Winstraight family, and now we are going to go back and heal before we die, and start QQing, and run into trees. So as we make our way up here, this thing over here is a trainer hall, whatever, battle, whatever, I totally don't remember the name. We can actually catch a new Pokemon on this route. Uh, what route is this again? 111. Now the thing is, 111 runs through here. Actually, yeah, we can we can either go inside in the sand later and catch something, or we can go into the pond now and hook up something. Personally, I'd rather wait until we get inside the sand. Or we can just do it now and not have to go in there later. I don't know. Let's just kill this Torchic. And Zubats. Easy work. This guy's full of pep and snubbles. Yeah, see, there's a tower in there, but we can't go in there yet because it's too sandy. And now we're on Route 112. Okay, we haven't caught something in a while. Our encounter for Route 112. Let's go with something good. No whammies, no whammies. It's a shop it. <sighs> it's not bad. It's not that good either. Uh, if this kills it, then I'm not gonna catch it. Alright, then. Let's see what else we could have found. Oh, after we take on this girl. Psybeam. And more Psybeams. Let's see what else we could have found. Mantine. That would have been okay. Togetic would have been awesome. More Mantines. Let's fight this guy who's gonna cry about it. He's gonna be QQing all the way. Head up this. Uh, we can fight this hiker, I guess. There's Team Magma Grunts up there just standing in front of the entrance into the left. More Pupitars. Oh, crap. Totally didn't see that coming. Water gun this thing. It's dead. Fight this hiker over here. It's got a Reggie Rock. It's a Reggie Rock, Luigi. Good thing I survived that explosion. These, these Reggies are terrible. Blowing up in your face and all that stuff. Armaldo. Sure, Razor Leaf. No, I don't want your number. You almost killed my Kingdra. How could you? Alright, we can catch something else in here. Let's go, good fire type. Or we can get a Blossom. That's good too. Rapid spin. Just keep rapid spinning. Oh crap. Okay. Uh, let's put this thing to sleep and try to cast this. In case Orbit ever gets killed, that we can use this as a backup. Because Blossom's actually quite okay. If only we can catch this thing. I think we have to take it a little bit lower. Alright, uh, let's switch back to orbit. Put this thing to sleep again. Because I don't want to tackle this thing because it might kill it. 
There we go. And for the first time, I get a male Pokemon, and it's something that I'd rather have a female. This is great. Uh, I have nothing to name this, so I'll just name it. Uh, you know what? Here on Railgun Gone Wild's Pokemon Emerald Nuzlocke, we promote cross tender naming. So we're naming this thing Mikoto because Miko stands for Shrine Maiden, and that's what I named my last Blossom, which was a female. Cross gender naming for the win. Now, what are we gonna do with this team? There's a wheezing in here. No, thank you. Let's just run back and heal. But yeah, cross gender naming for the win. Anyone gets that reference with Makoto? Well, yeah kind of obvious. Makoto, Railgun, haha. That's funny. Okay, let's head back up here before I start to kill myself out of boredom of hearing myself talk to myself and there's these guys over here. Let's fight them. Got an Ivysaur and a Love Disc. But they are dead. Uh, no, I don't want an interview. Screw you! Let's head back up into the path. Um, I don't think anyone can use strength yet. Oh, if I had gotten this Eggly buff, I would have just rage quit right here. That would have been terrible. See, this Blossom would have been perfect for that name. Victory Bell's not bad. But hey, let's go pick these Rost Berries and these Pecha Berries. Go fight this dude. I'm so overpowered, it is insane. But I have to be overpowered. This is a Nuzlocke. Wait, is this the same route? I have no idea if this is the same route. Whatever. If it is, Route 112. Yeah, it's the same route. Okay, good. And my is going to level 30. Great time to switch him out. Uh, let's put Lawrence up front. Route 111 again. Uh, that combustion can kill me. But good thing it didn't. That marsh hump can also kill me. Beldum. Uh, that was a bad idea. Just water gun this thing. Ivy Source one level away from evolving, I'm pretty sure of it. Get secret power over here. Uh, secret bases are cool, but I don't really want to make one right now. And over here we can heal our Pokemon. With this old lady that will never let us leave because she's a lowly con. Yeah, that's right, I went there. <laughs> Okay, 
So let's continue on picking these raspberries, which I don't think they do anything. And these are orange berries over here. Always good to have orange berries. And I'm gonna take down this. She has a shell gun. What the fuck? Another jump bluff. Not like we haven't seen. Okay, now I'm asleep. Mawile. Oh, time for mud slap. Okay, registered her and her number. Thing. Broken app. We're at 113. Okay, time for another capture. I'm gonna try to step through as little grass as I can, so once I get the. The, the thing to collect the ash, I'll come back. But our encounter for this route is a Don fan. Not bad. Uh, let's switch into orbit and sleep powder this thing. Keep on tackling it. And we will oh, almost catch it. Sleep powder again. Come on. This thing is this thing keeps waking up from my sleep hacks. There we go, we got the Dawn fan. Yes, we will name this thing Stampy. After Bart's elephant. Okay, let's try to avoid all these trainers for now. Wow, we could have gotten a Marsh Tom. Great. Avoid all these trainers. Yes. And now we're in here. We can take the ash, the, the, the soot sack. Now we can always walk back through those piles of ash and collect everything. And that's what we will be doing. Do I have any repels on me? Yes, I have four. And let's head back and fight those trainers while we're at it. Rock Tomb, the Quill Lava, and Razor Leaf, because that's the only thing you can do. Uh, headbutt that, and actually tackle that. Let's go step through more ash. This is so fun. Max Ether up there. Fight this parasol lady with not her new mole, but her ratata, which is dead. Oh crap! Oh, we could have gotten Scyther, but Stampy's not bad. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, great. Just rock to him, this thing. Walking through all these ashes like no tomorrow. I knew there was a hidden item there. Too obvious. And as for up here... You can just loop around and do this. There's a super repel up there. Fight this guy. Got a napkins. As well as a scissor. Uh, rock tomb. And mud slap. Bug steel is actually pretty strong. Okay, 
Okay, let's go fight these two trainers. Who are uber weak. Uh, headbutt the gloom, tackle the, the, the bell sprout. Mud slap, razor leaf. When's Ivysaur going to level up? Got a nugget there. I'll just put on one more repel. Just keep walking through this soot, ash, whatever you want to call it. That low kit's not gonna fight us, and we've pretty much taken out uh, most of the trainers on this part. This guy's not a trainer. That person's a ninja, or trying to be a ninja at least. Not enough. Eh, not bad. Only a little bit more. Uh, we will metal clock this thing. Iron Tail, sure, get rid of Metal Claw. Even though Iron Tail is extremely inaccurate. That 100 base power, though, comes handy. Even though normally accuracy is something that you would want. Hooray, evasion spamming. Mr. Mime, let us put up our last repel. Walk through all this, fight this trainer. Got an Absol. And we've pretty much completed our quest for Ash. Let's just use up the remaining repel steps. Got a lot of ashes. Let's do the blue flute. The blue flute prevents like is basically like the the um the flute in fire red and leaf green, where you can just use it and wake up your Pokemon in battle. See a glass flute that wakens sleeping Pokemon. Now he's got two more flutes. He's got the yellow flute and the red flute. And each of them don't do the same thing. For example, the yellow flute snaps out of confusion and the red flute snaps out of love. So that's what I'm going to be doing off screen. So see you guys next time.